Hence, now we have to solve quadratic equation m square minus 5m is equal to minus 3 by completing the square method. Friends, don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1st to class 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. The given quadratic equation is m square minus 5m is equal to minus 3. Now we have to solve this equation by using completing square method. Friends, to solve this equation, we have to apply one identity, one formula. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Or you can rearrange the sides, then we can write a square plus 2ab plus b square. This expansion is equal to in bracket a plus b whole square. That means we can write expansion in the form of square bracket. So same thing we have to apply in the given equation to solve this equation completing square method rule. Now we will see it. Now friends, in this equation in the left hand side we have two terms. So we have to add one more third term, suitable term so that we will get square, whole square here. Now to find out that third term we have one formula, half into coefficient of x whole square. So, this term we have to add in both the sides, left and right. Let us see. In this case, coefficient of m is minus 5. So, half of minus 5 whole square we have to find out. This value is 25 upon 4. Now, we have to add this value both the sides of our equation. So, we get so we get in the left hand side m square minus 5m plus 25 upon 4 is equal to in the right hand side minus 3 plus 25 upon 4. So according to our above formula left hand side is the expansion of m minus 5 upon 2 whole square. m minus 5 upon 2 whole square which is equal to solving right hand side we get 13 upon 4. So, by taking square root on both the sides, we get x, sorry, m minus 5 upon 2 is equal to, in the right hand side, we have to use plus or minus both the side because we are taking square root. So, maybe possibility of positive or negative. So, plus minus root 13 upon 2. So, shifting minus 5 upon 2 in the right hand side, it becomes plus. So, we get value of variable m as plus minus root 13 plus 5 upon denominator we can take common 2 because both fractions have common uh, same denominator 2 so we can take common so m is equal to either plus root 13 plus 5 upon 2 or m is equal to minus root 13 plus 5 upon 2 so in this way we have here two roots of this quadratic equation and these both the roots are irrational.